Here is question 3a part 2. So here's the information from the top um, and then the information from part 2. So we're going to need all of that information. So we've got our self-scanning machine um, at the supermarket and we've got some information that we need. Okay, so I'm just scanning through and I've got two percentages there that are important. So this first one is talking about incorrectly flashing a red light 3% of the time. And then when it talks about the item that's scanned not being the same as the item in the bag, um, so it's not the same, that's going to happen, the machine will correctly flash a red light 98% of the time. We've also got this 4%, okay, and so it's talking about in 4% of the scans, the scanned item is not the same as the item in the shopping bag. Okay, now I'm just going to ignore the rest of this part here, so I'm just going to come and leave that part till later. Um, we will come back to that section, okay. We're just going to look first of all at the probabilities and putting that together. And I'm going to do this as a tree diagram. So the first thing that happens, if you think about the decision process, the first thing that happens is the shopper decides whether the item is going to be, the item that's scanned, is that going to be the same or different to the item that is pla placed in the bag. So that's the first decision that is made. Okay, so that's our first um, branching that we are going to do. So I'm going to first have um, my two branches and I'm going to be talking about whether the items are the same. So the item that's scanned versus the item that's put in the bag, are they the same or are they different? Okay, that's my first decision. Then I need to think what, what the second decision is. So once I've placed that item in the bag, then the machine decides if it's going to do a red light or a green light. Okay, so we're going to have either a red light or a green light that goes off. So we've got our red light or our green light. And the same here, red versus green. Okay, so that's the setup of the table. Now we need to put some information on it. So let's just have a look back here. I'm going to start with this 4%. It's saying that at the supermarket, it's estimated that in 4% of the scans, the item scanned is not the same as the item placed in the shopping bag. Okay, so that tells me that it's different. So 4% of the time, the item that's scanned is different from the item that's put in the bag. So if that's 4%, then the items must be the same 96% of the time. Okay, because those two have to add up to 1 or 100%. So that's our first one. We've dealt with that 4%. Now let me go back up to the 3%. So it's talking about it's going to, when the item scanned is the same um, as the item, so when the scanned item is the same one, then that's going to get it wrong 3% of the time. Okay. So that's telling me when the items are the same, the red light is going to go off. What percentage was that? That was 3%. So it's going to go off 3% of the time, which means that most of the time it's going to be a green light. So that's 97% of the time it's a green light. Then we've got this 98% to deal with over here. So that's telling me when the items scanned is not the same, so we're talking about different items now, then it's going to correctly flash the red light 98% of the time. So when the items are different, it will correctly do the red light 96% of the time. Is it 96? 98, sorry, my mistake. 98. Which means 2% of the time um, it's going to come up with a green light when in fact it should have been a red. Okay, now we've got the bones of it. Now we want to work out um, the different combinations that we could have. So we could have the probability of the items being the same and getting a red light. We could have the probability of the items being the same but getting a green light. 
we could have the probability of the items being different by getting a red light or the probability of them being different by getting a green light. So that's the four different combinations. Now remember when I'm working out these probabilities, if we go along the um, branches, then we are going to multiply. So I've got my probability of being the same and my probability of being red means I'm going to do my 0 0.96 times my 0 0.03 and that's going to give me a probability of 0 0.0288. Okay. Now I want to do my probability for the next combination. So now I want to go and say, well, the items are going to be the same, but now I'm going to get a green light. Okay, so then I'm going to take that 0.96 and I am going to multiply it. So I'm going to take the 0.96 multiplied by the 0.97. Okay, and that's going to give me a probability of 0 0.9312. Then I'm going to do the same for the next branches. So now I'm going to do my differences and read. So 0 0.04 and 0 0.98. And that's going to give me a probability that I'm multiplying there of 0 0.392. And last but not least, oh, hang on, 0 Point, I'm missing a zero, sorry, 0 0.0392. And last but not least, I've got my differences times my green light, so 0 0.04 times 0 0.02, and that's going to give me a probability of 0 0.0008. Okay, so there is my table. Now let's go back and have a look at the question. So the question now is asking us, so saying, suppose an item is scanned and we're getting a red light. So we want, so we know that it's just talking about we have a red light. That's our condition. And we want to know what's the probability that the item scanned is not the same. Okay, so that's what we're interested in, the probability that it's not the same given that it is flashing a red light. Okay, so let's look at our information that we've got here. First thing we've got to look for is that we know the item flashed a red light. So let's look at the different combinations. So we could have, so, sorry, let me go to that one. Um, this first one, probability of the same and a red light, that meets our criteria of being a red light. The next one, probability of being the same with a green light, does not meet the criteria. So let's go to the third combination, probability of being different but having a red light. Yes, there's my red light, so that meets the criteria. Last one, different but a green light, does not meet the criteria. So we've got two options there, and that combines to give us the probability of it being a red light. Okay, so I'm just going to write this on the next slide here. And I'm going to say the probability of getting a red light is those two numbers there, so 0 0.0288, 0 0.0288, plus the other probability, 0 0.0392. Okay, and that gives me a probability of 0 0.068. So that's the chance that I have a red light. Now from the chance, from those red lights that I get, the question asked, what's the probability that the item is not the same? So meaning that the item is different. So which one of those talks about the items being different? So we've got to think right from those two possibilities, the one that is talking about the different is this one down here, our 0 0.0392. So we're going to take that probability 0 0.0392 divided by a probability of being red. So now we're going to say what's the probability of being different given that
that we know it's red, and that probability is 0 0.0392 divided by 0 0.068. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.5765 to 40p. And there's our probability.